Hey people, it is Monday, August the 15th. Time is 12.33 in the afternoon and it's currently 26 degrees Celsius. And I'm here in the St. Lawrence Market neighborhood at the corner of Henry Lane Terrace and Frederick Street. Let's look north of Frederick Street. But just one street over to the west here is the beginning of George Street. I thought I'd take a walk along the length of George Street heading north. George Street is an interesting street. If you were to ask longtime Toronto residents, what street would they be most afraid of walking along in general, whether in the day or the night? Most would probably say George Street. And that's mainly because of one block of the street that is known to be a bit of a shall we say, <laughs> block of pure sketchiness. But most of the rest of George Street is quite nice, actually. So we'll be walking through the charming part of George Street, and then right near the end of the walk, the final block will be the alarming part of George Street. And here's where George Street begins. A nice shady neighborhood here in St. Lawrence Market. And I have done some walks along George Street before, but it's been a while since I have walked along the full length of the street. And I haven't walked along the infamous block, which lies between Dundas Street and Gerard Street. I haven't walked along that block in quite a while, actually, even though I walk past it literally every day, since I live just one street over from George Street. I'm not sure what the condition of that block is these days. There is a new redevelopment slated to get underway sometime in the near future, which will greatly rejuvenate the block. There's a large homeless shelter called Seton House, which is on that block. And the existing facility is going to be demolished and replaced with a new facility. A new larger facility I believe but also a much more modern one and much more pleasant one I suppose for people to spend time in Seton House as it is now doesn't have a very good reputation let's look down the Esplanade Got a nice mix of residential buildings. And there's some commercials scattered about here and there along the stretch. Cute little dog. Yes, 
New town of York. That's hey. interesting. Toronto's original name was York. At one time it was the town of York. And this neighborhood, Old Town, is pretty much where the town of York originated. Here's Front Street. This truck is almost too big to make this turn here. East and the famous view looking west, the flat iron building and the CN Tower. Sorry, I don't have any. I don't have any change, sorry. I never carry change. I haven't carried change probably in a good seven or eight years at least. And here's King Street. There's the main campus of George Brown College. I suppose I'll cross here. So as you can see, George Street down in this end is actually quite pleasant. Quite attractive to look at. This would definitely be the charming part of the street. There you go. I think that was an awesome idea. Here's Adelaide Street. Here's Canada's first, or Toronto's first post office. Not Canada's, but Toronto's.
lots of new developments are making their way eastward into downtown east and George Street is no exception At the corner of Dundas and George a 49 story tower is proposed and will probably be starting construction in the near future and also a new tower will rise right here on this site here they're going to retain this old warehouse building and build a tall residential building And there's the George Street Diner. It's a local landmark. I've actually never been there. You know, it's always something I said I would like to try out sometime. Richmond Street. Looks like the diner is closed right now. Seems odd to be closed at this time. Maybe they're closed on Mondays. That's common for a lot of businesses in the city to be open on Sundays but then closed on Mondays. And here's Britain Street. This is kind of an interesting street. I've walked down before in previous videos. I think it's almost time to do an updated walk. And I've always gotten a kick out of the name of this laneway here. Bootlegger Lane. So here's Queen Street, and here's where George Street gets interrupted by Moss Park and the Moss Park Armory. So there is, there is a pedestrian pathway that leads across the park, and then George Street resumes on the other side at Shooter Street. And that's also where the street suddenly takes on a different character. Moss Park. And that's the armory just right beside us.
And some of the new towers that are making their way easter eastward into the heart of downtown east. Here's Shooter Street. See the financial district. There's really nothing wrong with this block either, although it's just one more block ahead where the street gets its bad reputation from. Here's where the Grand Hotel was. It took them <laughs> at least a year and a half to demolish the building. It was basically built like a concrete bunker. And now this is the site of a new residential tower. Just got site preparation underway here. No sign of construction yet, but it should get underway in the near future. And some of the relatively new towers in the neighborhood. And right up there is Dundas Street. And you could say this is where the charming gives way to the alarming. Here's Fillmore's, the famous <laughs> strip club. And this is where the new 49-story tower will be rising. They're going to retain the building, though, the old historic hotel building. And build the new tower on top. So, like I said, I live just a block over from George Street here, and I will say that the street is somewhat, at least this block, is somewhat deserving of its bad reputation, as I have personally come across various crime scenes, including a recent shooting that took place right here on the corner, where a man was shot randomly by a complete stranger. And unfortunately, he lost his life. And I actually heard the gunshots from inside my apartment and came out and recorded a video of the aftermath. And there have been several other shootings on this block, as well as one time a man was intentionally run down by a vehicle. And he also lost his life. Numerous stabbings, you get the picture. Looking up ahead, it looks pretty quiet right now. Oftentimes you'll just see groups of people sort of just hanging out. Especially once you get up near Seton House. Jenny Green Co-op.
know, some of the old townhouses that are worse for wear. I think there is a development notice for this site here. I think some of these have been lost to fires as well. So I think this is part of the redevelopment of Seton House. Basically an enormous rectangular building. It's going to be quite a bit higher than the current structure. Some of these old buildings are actually quite attractive if they were renovated, but unfortunately these are all going to be destroyed as far as I know as part of the redevelopment. And that is Seton House right there. Kind of quiet. There have been times when this block is very, act very active and a lot of people, as I mentioned earlier, are very intimidated and avoid walking along here if they can. And quite a few people literally are just too afraid to ever walk down this street. At least this block. This one doesn't seem to be occupied either. So my street is just the next street to the east. And my apartment building actually backs onto Seton House. So people who live on the western side of my building. They can look out directly at Seton House. I was displeased about something or other. And here's Gerard Street, and this is where George Street comes to an end. it the most feared street in Toronto <laughs> we walked the entire length of it of course 95% of it is perfectly fine and rather charming and 5% is somewhat alarming
but it wasn't all that bad right now. At night, it can be a bit of a different story. And there's Allen Gardens. This park also shares a bit of a bad reputation along with George Street. But I don't think that's all that deserved anymore. So I'm gonna make my way down my block here now. So I hope you enjoyed this walk along George Street from its southern terminus all the way northward to where it ends at Gerard Street. Let me know your thoughts on the most feared street in downtown Toronto. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure you hit that notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal as well as via my merch store and the recently enabled super thanks button right down below. And lastly, you can find me on Instagram too under K Continuum. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue.